Yo, what is up, people? Smithers to the motherfucking R, here today to give you... Oh my god, this is a fucking long-ass name. Fuck it, C3 Boo, episode 5, motherfucking review. Okay, now, this episode... Let's just put it like this. Fan service, airsoft, island, boat... That basically explains it. Oh yeah, she getting too cocky. She getting way too cocky. That that basically explains the entire episode. But I'm gonna go into further detail because I'm, of course that's what the fuck I do. Okay. She she woke up on a motherfucking boat in the middle of the fucking ocean. <laughs> Apparently, she was so excited the day before for the trip that she overslept, and because of that they. Just Put her on the boat. It's like, let's go. So basically, they're starting their first amphibian assault on the island while there's another team there. I believe they're called the Sato team because apparently everybody's last name in the entire team is Sato. Wow. And <laughs> fan service. Fan service. Okay. Let's put it like this. Okay. Now I'm confused as shit. Let's, let's backtrack a little bit. I'm confused as shit. Because episode 4, this girl was reality warping. Like, literally. Like, what? And now, she isn't. Well, she is, but she isn't. Because that's like her imagination of what she's seeing. But she's not dragging other people into it. You see, it would, the best way I could describe it is, episode 4... She was reality warping. She was warping reality. How? Do you know that for a fact? Because not only did she warp reality, but she was able to suck somebody in, and so that's where the real comes from. Like, reality. Change reality. Like, what? No, this episode, we didn't really see that. Which I kind of like, but I kind of don't at the same time. Why? That's a good question. Let's answer that shit right now. You're just gonna show her warp, and then next episode she doesn't do do it anymore. Like, like what? Cause I mean, she really warped reality. Like, let me let me just throw a quick thing out there. Like Naruto, for instance, Genjutsu. That is not reality warping. That's changing your perception on reality, but you're not actually changing physical reality. You're changing their perception of reality. That's what Genjutsu is. There's not been any type of real reality warping in the sense of Naruto. Not yet. But, in this shit, this girl is warping reality. Because she's not only changing your perception, she's changing the physical fucking landscape to the point where other people are being sucked into the reality that she is creating. Reality warping. She changed fucking reality. Wow. Just saying. And then they just drop it? I, I definitely want to see some more of this shit. Because, I mean, that's the last thing I literally, the last fucking thing I expected to see in an anime about airsoft guns. About airsoft, in general. It's fucking reality warping. Like, that's. What? But, let's get back on track with this episode. Okay, so she didn't do any reality, reality warping, but I'm just going to break it down pretty quick. This, like, secondary breakdown, if you will. So, the amphibian battle, they go on. This actually brought up a really big question. Where the fuck did they get this boat? Like, they're a high school club. They got a, a yacht. What? 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 No! It's an anime, so, fuck it. Deserted island in the middle of nowhere. But basically, a fight breaks out. She actually steps up her game. I like it. I like it. She finally stopped being a little, you know, scared of everything. But, no. No. 
gets much deeper than that. I'll get onto that at near the end of the video before I get my rating. And so, of course, they win the first match, which is, I believe, was it Capture? Capture the Flag was the second match. The first one, I believe, was just basically whoever eliminates the other team. And they won. And she actually took people down. She wasn't that scared little cat anymore. There's even a little flashback of her, like, thinking about what happened. And then she's like, I'm not that type of person anymore. And she ran out there and she did what she had to do. She, she, she had to shout the gun. Like, episode one, episode two, that was impossible for her to do. Like, she couldn't even shoot the gun. And then, this is when stuff... They win, then there's, like, a cookout. Then the other team comes in, and that's when we learn more about them. One of the, apparently, they're one of the top teams in Japan. And they're doing some crazy shit. Like, like their main focus in their team is mind-fucking. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh god, oh god, they gave me a fucking flashback to get him to the Greek. When he's like, I'm gonna fuck your mind. You see what I did right there? That's mind fucking. I'll just mind fuck the shit out of you. I hope you wear a condom because I have a dirty mind. Get the this shit. It was the funniest shit ever. He said, What the fuck? It wasn't really funny, but it was like, just funny. It was weird. Anyway. That's the, their psych, their psychological team, where they use more than one gun to give off the impression that there's more than one teammate, so that they don't get rushed. And on one occasion, they were using six guns with two people. Like, like literally, what the, like what the fuck, like what fucking fly, a fucking eight fly, what the, like literally, one there's a dude and a girl. And the dude is like standing on top of a tree with two guns out like this. And then there's a girl sitting on top of him with her feet shooting two other fucking machine guns like some Uzis or maybe Tech Nines. Yeah, they weren't really PDWs. No. And then, and then, she has two other guns in her hand and they created a situation where these two people were scared because they believe that there are four teammates on the other side. Because of the amount of bullets that are coming their way. There must be more than just two people there. Otherwise, they would have been on an even playing field, so to speak. If they would have realized that they didn't have... Because when you have more members against you, like if there's four people and there's only two of you, that means that there's more area being covered by each individual person, and they have more area of effect, so to speak. Like, they can see over here, or well, this person, they're coming over here, and this person, they're coming over here, and this person got the flank, all that type of stuff. They're good at that. That's why I see them being, like, the best. Because they almost won a capture the flag match. Oh my god, they almost win a capture the flag match. But then, they teamed up, and they got shit done, because that's, of course, what they do. They, but the way they did it, and I'm going to get to that a little bit later, but first, let me bring up something. She had a nightmare about that feeling that she had when she was so scared and she lost the team. She she gave up. She had a nightmare about that, and then she woke up and she's like, I'm not that, not that type of person anymore. And then there was like an eat off, and then next day, the flags got burned to heat the bath. And so, of course, fan service time, they take off the girl with the smallest... They take her bikini top, and then they take the girl with the giant... They take her bikini top off, too. And, ah, uh, finally that fucking video was done. Okay. And what happens is... They get... They give this little girl... The girl with... Small... They give her some sea cells. And for the big girl, they give her some leaves. Don't get me wrong, it's not like... I don't like fan service, it's just, I mean, if I'm going to watch something for fan service, I'm going to pick something that actually has crazy ass fan service. I like that they throw it in there every now and then, but, I mean, sometimes, I'm like, uh, fuck it, why not? I don't really care for it. This one, unfortunately, it was one of those just okay moments. I'm like, uh, it's in there, why not? Fuck it. 
because that's that's what I do. I mean, shit. I mean, if I wanted to see some for fan service, I'd definitely find something for fan service. But I'm watching this for airsoft, and so I'm not really caring about the fan service. You know, I mean, I got high school DHD for that shit. That's fan service full. That's match and packed with fan service. Get the fights. It's fan service central over there. High school with the dead. Watch that shit. They, they overdid the fan service a little bit. But they might be toning it down if they go for season two. Maybe. Fine. Anyway. Let's get back on track. And so, not, on, not only that, but they mind fucked the shit out of them. And so that they thought that there were more than more people there, so that they felt like they were at a disadvantage or on an even playing field, and but they were still being careful. In the entire time, this is why I'm bring it up. Well, before that, they win the match, of course, and then that's like the end of the episode. Like they take a picture, and that's the end. But when you look at the picture, her face, she isn't smiling. Why is that? Well, let's, now let's get into like the deep meaning behind this. She changed herself. She is so focused on not being scared that she's letting everything else just go in the wind. She's not caring about her surroundings. All she cares about is not letting like the team down by feeling like she's a weak link. At the same time, she's exposing the team to lose. I mean... She's not really playing it for fun, in a sense. She's, she's, she just always, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. I gotta run out, because I gotta run out. No. And she knows that. Sono knows that. Blue hair chick. I believe that's, I'm, I'm really, it's really late. And so I'm really, really, really bad with names right now. Especially since I need to go to sleep soon. Video will be up by the time before I go to sleep, of course, or it'll be uploading. But still, I mean, that's. It's like she's changing herself, but it's not a good thing. Because the change is so drastic that she's not being herself. She's not thinking. She's basically being a running gun, gun ho teammate, and that's the last thing you want. Not only will she give away your position and possibly risk the entire team they could get wiped out from one person making a mistake but she's also running in there not caring about herself she's just like, literally running out there like like no, no checking anything she did do a cool move where she's like I remember you're not supposed to go head first you're supposed to go to the side so she sides up to take down two people so she is learning, and she isn't scared anymore. But that's not the problem. The problem is that she's not playing Airsoft the way she sh wants to be playing Airsoft. She's playing it how she thinks they want her to play Airsoft. And that's... That has deeper meanings if you think about it really hard. But I'm not going to go into that, because then it'll, I'll bring up all types of topics, and this will be a super long video. And I already made two long-ass fucking videos today. So, I'm not going to go that in depth. Just, I want you to think about that. She's not being the person that she, sh that she wants to be. She's being the person she thinks she should be. That has more meanings than one. And, of course, blue-haired chick... Don't ask me names. Don't even ask me names. Oh my god. She realizes this. She's she's actually realizing this. And it's bad. It's not only bad for the team, but it's bad for her. Because she's not playing Airsoft really for the enjoyment. Her own personal like feel of it. She's just running out there. Trying not to be the weak link on the team. But that in the end could and most likely will lead to the team's demise. Although on two occasions it didn't. Just saying. That ain't gonna work against those high teams. When when you got a when you got a organized team versus a team that's slightly organized one mother or that just runs out there like crazy. Is the way not only your friendly's position 
but now all the enemy knows not only where you are but the area that others could be then they have a chance to flank and go around and check other areas and immediately take you out so that being said overall I'm gonna give it a seven Yeah, it, it, yeah, this episode deserves a 7. Because it was good overall when you think about it. Because especially the deep meanings. Deep meanings are what gives something that that rating. When when there's something that not very many people see that I tend to notice. There's some people, a lot of people see it and I also tend to notice it. Because now there's a conflict that's emerged inside this group of girls that play airsoft one that will have to be dealt with but how can you deal with that I mean at first she was scared and now she doesn't she just runs out there like it ain't nothing like that's that's not healthy you just can't suppress your own emotions and feelings like that so that being said it gets a 7 out of 10 it was good with okay moments. I mean, I'm not just like my rating. My rating is really weird, mostly because like I I do give higher ratings a lot more frequently than lower ratings, but it's not because it's you know because I like everything. No, no, no. I'll find things wrong with shit. Hell yeah, and I'll point them out. But at the end of the day. Just because one, you know, one episode has a bad moment here and a, you know, good moment here and then some okay moments thrown in and then another good moment that makes it good, good and bad cancel out, then okay with the good. That's how it works out. It's it just works out like that. I mean, yeah, it's it's weird how I rate shit, hell yeah, it's always going to be weird how I rate shit, because I rate shit my own personal way, and yes, I kind of do, in a sense, go higher more than lower, that's because you have to really try, you got to do some really dumb shit, Marshall, <coughs> episode, <coughs> you're saying, you're saying, like, that's the type of stuff that gets bad and you know it, g it goes down but when you're re when you're with like me personally I'm not gonna say something's bad just because something I don't like happened no fuck that shit cause at the end of the day if I watched the full fucking episode there was something about it that I obviously liked or I'm gonna rage on the shit That being said, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Let's continue on this shit a little bit more, because that's what I'm, I'm talking about right now. Because I already gave my rating and my opinion on it, on the episode. When I rate something, yeah, sometimes it will get higher. But just getting higher isn't making it, like, mo most people, like, a 4 out of 4. Like, my 4 out of 4, if you look at my shit, is nearly impossible to get only one series so just saying and that is just because of the sheer craziness and the fucked up shit that happened in it like it, it was so fucked up but it was good it's like what what all this shit just happens and it's like just hits you so yeah I do tend occasionally to go higher but that's because I'm watching what I like and I mean, if they do some bad shit, I'm definitely going to call them out on that shit. Hell yeah. And I mean, when you really think about it, if you get under a 5.5, then you, you you really are trying to be really bad. I mean, the lower you go down, the worse you're trying to be bad. I mean, a 6, if you wanted to put it in like layman's terms, would be like somebody's 2 out of 4. Then a seven would be like it. 
like like a three out of five. Eight would be like a four out of five. And then between eight and a ten, it would be getting closer to that five out of five. That's that's like how I do my shit. And that's what I do. Fuck it. Fuck it. Long ass fucking little shit in there. Fuck it. I don't care. Now this video is going to take forever to edit too. Fuck it. Fuck it. Don't care. Because I don't edit really. I just fuck it. Press play. I start talking when I'm done. Intro. Outro. Done. Fuck it. Now Smithers to motherfucking R. Giving you C3 Blue. Episode 5. Motherfucking review. Gets a 7 out of 10. I like the deeper meanings in it. There were some things that I'm like, what the fuck? Like, literally, they, they, they literally dropped the entire, like, reality warping concept. Or they haven't shed any more light on it. I didn't really like that. Along with this girl who just had, like, an immediate personality change. In, like, one day. Like, one episode. And she goes from scared little girl to, like, I'm gonna fucking kill everybody. Like, too drastic change of character. And that will be issued on, which is why bumps it up. So that being said, Smithers are how the fuck did the video end up so long? I don't know. Shit just happened. I can't explain it. The shit just happened. I don't know. Maybe I draw motherfuckers in with my words. I don't know. Fuck Smithers to motherfucking R. I'm getting the fuck off before this turns into like another like fifty minute video. <laughs> I remember that shit. That shit oh my god. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Peace.